So when we talk about good composition in your photographs, the first thing we usually talk about is rule of thirds. What that means is that you divide your photo into thirds, both left to right and top to bottom, like this. If you were to place a grid over your photo, and usually you can set your camera to have a little grid inside of it when you look through the viewfinder, the main subject of your photo will be usually on one of these thirds lines or at an intersection of thirds, like right here where this windmill is. We also have this path leading down to the windmill that's on sort of really close to this left thirds line. So that's something you want to pay attention to in your photos when you first take them and then later in processing when you're cropping them and fixing them up a little bit too. Here's another example of a photo that's taken with good rule of thirds. As you see, the main subject of the photo is sort of this swooping greenery here and the tomato down here. If we were to place a grid over this photo like this, you can see that most of the greenery is over on this right thirds line and the tomato is right on the intersection of the left and lower thirds lines. Here's another example. So what's the main subject of this photo? It's probably this dog's face and then, you know, the more of the subject kind of comes down and over across to the cat too. So if we're to place a grid over the top, the dog's face is right on the intersection of the left and upper thirds lines and the rest of the composition sort of flows down along this lower thirds line as well. So that's a really good example of rule of thirds. Let's look at a couple of examples in this month's photo challenge and see how we could maybe crop them to improve the rule of thirds. Since Earth Day is in April, this month's photo challenge theme was It Means the World to Me. And we said that anybody could interpret this in one of two ways. Either you could take a photo of something or someone who means the world to you, or you could take photos of the Earth and of conservation and saving the planet themes. This person really hit both of the themes with this photo. The photographer mentioned that this is their two children, so I can definitely see how these two people could mean the world to the photographer. And also, um, they're out enjoying the clear waters of a lake, so we have the earth and the conservation theme there as well. Really nice job. One thing to notice is that the girl standing here is on the left thirds line, and the boy is on the lower thirds line, so that's good. But when you look at this, you really see that the subject of the photo is these two children grouped together. So when you group them together, you see that they're actually right sort of in the middle of the photo right here. So let's see what we can do by cropping. I'm just going to crop a little bit and try to move them over a little. And when I do that, we lose a little bit of the sky. So let's try another option. I'm going to crop this as a square and move them over again so that the grouping of the children is on this left thirds line and the boy and the line of the rocks down here is on this lower thirds line. And when we crop that, that's the finished result. Of course, this is something you want to try to do in camera if you can. This next one, this boat is, again, right in the middle area of the photo here. So let's see what we can do to move it towards one of the thirds lines. I'm going to move this up here and now I'm also going to straighten the horizon a little. So now the boat is right on the intersection of the right and lower thirds lines. I think that improves it a bit although it is moving out of the photo and we'll talk about that in a later episode. In this photo the animal which is the main subject of the photo is right in the middle. So again, when you're looking through your viewfinder, you want to think what is the main subject of this photo, and you want to try to put it on an intersection of a thirds line, or over to the right, or over to the left, towards the top, towards the bottom. Try a lot of different compositions and take a lot of different photos so you have variations to choose from when you look back through your photos again. In this case, I'm going to try cropping it this way and putting the animal down in the lower right third just so that I can keep some of this greenery up here. In this case, here's another thing that we talk about when we're talking about cropping. So this photographer has put the castle on the right thirds line, which is great. Except one thing that sort of distracts is these branches coming in at the top and then this bridge over here on the left. Since the main subject of the photo is this castle and then these people 
here, we want to really make sure that all of our attention focuses on this area and we don't get too distracted by this or this. If you use these branches as framing, you might include more of them. But in this case, since it's just the tips, we're not sure where they're coming from and it's kind of distracting. So I'm going to crop those out. And of course, this is something you want to try to do in your camera. You want to try to get in closer and maybe um, if you could, you could walk around the edge of this bridge and get your photo without the bridge in it. But in this case, so we've eliminated the distraction at the top and we can really focus on this beautiful scene here with the castle and this evening light and the snow. Really nice choice of photo subject. Alright, so this flower is a nice up-close shot of a flower. The one thing again I'm seeing is a little bit of distraction coming in with this darkness on the lower right corner here. So I'm going to crop that out. But when I did that I moved the subject of the photo, which is the middle of this flower, right into the middle of the photo. So I'm going to crop again over here on the left side and see if I can move that up over to the right a little bit. And I want to make sure I'm keeping all of these edges in here. Maybe a little bit more. Alright, and when I crop that, then the subject is closer to the intersection of the right and lower thirds. And we also have this nice motion moving up into the photo, this implied motion. Um, and we have these lovely lines, really nice subject. Let's take a look at a couple more photos from this month's challenge that really nailed the composition well. What is the main subject of this photo? You might be tempted to say the main subject is the entire leaf. And yes, that's the subject of the photo, but you can go even further to say that the main subject is right here on these water droplets that are in focus. Since everything back here is out of focus, our eye is immediately drawn right here. And this in focus spot, again, is right on the intersection of the right and lower thirds. Really nice job. In this one, the main subject of the photo is this bigger bee right on this flower. Really nice, colorful flower. And when I turn my grid on, I can see that the bee is right exactly on the intersection of the right and lower thirds lines. And here's another example of rule of thirds from this month's challenge. This person's face is right on the intersection of the upper thirds line and the right thirds line. Um, also, the lighting is just great, I have to mention.